bottom of the sand hole for the last time. Up over the tabletop goes race leader Eric Cabors. And look at Martins closing. I don't think he'll make it by the chequered flag, but he certainly really has staged a tremendous race. Number three, Eric Gabors wins the British 500 Grand Prix here at Hawkstone Park. And it's Gherkins in second place. Jackie Martins there hanging on into third. So the final results will indeed show that the young Belgium, 27 years of age, Eric Gabors, Nicolaire hangs on to fourth, has done what he really wanted to do it here at Hawkstone Park and take two heat victories. Well, congratulations coming to Eric Gabors from Tony Johnson, one of the mainstays here at the Salop Club in Shrewsbury. Well done, Eric, he says. Good ride. Well, I'm sure those are sentiments shared by all of us here watching this fabulous motocross Grand Prix race. And Eric Gabors, the Belgium. Germany is the next race. And can Eric do the job over there in Germany as well as he's done it here today at Hawkstone Park? Well, indeed, the overall results were that it was a win for Eric Gabors. Well, there are the top three, the Belgians, Eric Gabors, Dirk Gherkins and Jackie Martins. And as always, everybody gets a drink of the champagne, including us and the press photographers. Well, it's been a hard day here at Hawkstone Park. We'll be moving over to the next round in Germany. I hope you can join us then for some really fantastic, exciting motocross racing. Well, Eric Gabors jumps up in the championship to 229 points. Dirk Gherkins in second. Nicolet is third. Lyles and Thorpe both on 156 share fourth place. Martins in sixth. Leesk in seventh. Van de Ven in eighth. Rossi in ninth. And Mervyn Anstey on 67 points in tenth position. Let's join the Belgians on the podium at Hawkstone Park. That's a hell of a good result for you now in the World Championship. You're leading and looking very much like becoming 1990 World 500cc motocross champion. Yeah, I hope so because I had a very big disappointment uh, last year and, you know, I worked my way up through the winter. I got a uh, very good condition, a very good base on, the, on my condition, so I just gained, uh, gained six Grand Prix heats in a row and, you know, feel very happy about that. Well, we asked you on an earlier interview that uh, if you win this World Championship this year, where do you go from here, Eric? Well, I don't know. I've been in uh, professional motocross now 11 years, and I think 11 or 12 or 13, it doesn't make any difference. The uh, Chambers Honda, it went well for you today. Yeah, right. Uh, my bike was very well. Uh, we, have a, we had a good preparation time in the last three months, so my bike has a very good uh, base setup, basic setup, and so I'll continue with the bike like it is. It uh, has a winning uh, uh, ability at the moment, so we continue like that. Well, we move on now to the next round, the next uh, championship round, which is in what Germany, and the track there is it one familiar to you? Yeah, I I won two heats there in uh, one two five when I was riding one two five uh, Grand Prix in '82. So uh, uh, it's a track that suits me very well. I like the race track. I like the condition. So I'm looking forward again. Well, Eric Balls, possibly 1990 World 500 CC motocross champion. Congratulations. Thank you very much.